Hello everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here with the 77th episode of Coffee with Jody. Over the last few videos, we've been talking about Women's History Month, innovation, creativity, the four day work week, and employee engagement. As we complete Women's History Month, we started off with a conversation about Katherine Johnson, the mathematician who worked on the Apollo 13. A black woman who uh, was sort of in the background, got brought to the foreground because of her uh, extraordinary capabilities. She was a good role model for the trajectory of women over the last, let's say, 50, 60 years from you know, being able to go to college, to getting her degree, to working at NASA, you know, to getting the Congressional and the Presidential Medal of Honor. What I'd like to emphasize in this video is, we as women have come a long, long way in the last hundred years, and it will be us adult women today in the workforce that are mentoring and grooming the next generation to be able to reach their full potential, to be productive, to be passionate, and to be fully engaged in their careers. In addition to that, I think it's very important for us to acknowledge those who have come before us and to make sure that we acknowledge both our peers as well as the women who've, who've created an opening for us as business leaders. Building on the gifts of women, both those we'll mentor and those who mentored us, we're going to look at what is it in the workplace that allows for innovation, creativity, the currency of being able to solve the world's greatest challenges, those that have been identified by the UN Sustainable Development Goals and those that we know of that are, are local here in our communities. Given Gallup's research on one in three people being actively engaged in their, in their work, we know that two thirds are not. And we can do something about that by being more and more conscious of what it takes for people to be engaged in the workplace, utilizing their profiles, utilizing their motivators, helping them to identify the areas where they're the greatest contribution within the organization, recruiting for people that are wired for the roles that we're looking to fill. Jim Collins talks about you design a business model to be a fit for the group of people that you want to work with. And that allows us to take a look at who's on our teams right now. Through Engage and Grow programs that we offer, we find that people will rise up and actually take on positions and roles of leadership within the organization. And some of them will be like, you know what, this is not for me and they leave. So you sort of find the mix of people that are really you know, in this game with you. Very important to also be looking at you know, what can we provide? You know, we talked a little bit about the four day work week and you know, in the discussions that I've been having, people were saying, you know what, I can't really give them a raise, but I can give them a half a day off a week or a day off a week. And that provides you know, a, a benefit for the team member gives them that day off, doesn't cost me any more money. And what we're finding is that people are thrilled to have that time to be able to you know, rest or take care of their life needs. You know, if they're caring for an elderly parent like I am, or small children, or they still have their children home from school. I mean, but whatever it is that they need to be able to be rejuvenated and that there's not a loss in productivity. Rounding everything up, Women's History Month is now leading into the Earth Month and sustainability, so we'll be shifting conversations into that. You know, mindful that we're just building one on top of the other and that there's no real distinction. They're just different um, perspectives on really having people live to their fullest potential, to their passions, and being the greatest contribution wherever they are. If you enjoyed this video, Please like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel where there's a lot of other videos on many other topics. And that's it, bye for now.